distinguish the audience. This is the last step. And Mr. Osman Chetinkaya, Professor Osman Chetinkaya is going to take the floor for closing the event. And also, FAO informed me that this is the last half an hour and uh, the interpreters uh, will be available just for another half an hour and then we'll have to finish. So, dear professor, it is necessary to do some brainstorming about future cooperation and partnerships. That's why, professor, now I would like to give the floor to you now. Thank you. I wish a nice day to all the participants. I extend my best regards. I wish you a healthy day. Under the leadership of FAO, the Ministry of Agriculture, and also Sparta University of Applied Sciences organized this webinar. This has been a two-day webinar. I have been following it uh, since the beginning and I have been taking notes. First of all, I have to say that I'm quite happy and satisfied about it. Well, personally, I have not uh, made much research about leeches, but uh, my uh, colleague, Mustafa Jada, in fact, uh, uh, he and I, uh, in fact, provided consultancy uh, an advice uh, to a doctorate thesis. This is how I got introduced to this topic. So within the framework of these seminars, uh, if you agree, I would like to follow some text that was shared with me in advance. I would like to follow this text. In this text, it talks about the planner uh, of the uh, webinar, Mustafa Jalan and his colleagues, in fact, indicated some objectives here. One is related to over collecting and illegal trade of medicinal leech and objective one says uh, one of the webinar's objectives was to raise awareness about this. So from Turkey, uh, we heard one uh, presentation uh, which was delivered by me and also the Minister of Agriculture delivered a presentation about this objective. Well, climate change, drought, industrial and agricultural use can be the factors narrowing down the natural habitats of the leech. And also, leech is an important uh, source of livelihood. And however, all these factors create uh, some pressure, significant pressure on the uh, natural resources. We heard examples from India, Romania, Turkey. And we understand that this will continue to be a problem in future too. That is why future studies may be needed on the protection of natural leech populations. Uh, it is also necessary maybe to improve the populations. It's both a risk and a threat at the same time. According to my impressions, from the presentations delivered. I can say that the dynamics of the population, stock estimation, uh, decision on the quantity of collection, decision on the quantity to be released into the wild are different areas where we need new methods to be developed. In this context, uh, distinguished lady participating from Iran, in fact, explain a method that has already been used in fisheries. Uh, so uh, normally we uh, start with migration, but there are new methodologies around. So we see that there is a vacancy in this field of research and it is necessary to do more research in this field. So 
scientific methods have to be revealed that are specific to the leech populations and these uh, researches and methodologies need to be disseminated also about prevention of illegal trade we heard many interesting examples our guest from canada mr sebastian chris uh, explained this topic with interesting examples uh, first we understood the reality of illegal trade its dimensions and then thinking about a living organism in the nature we see that it may be useful for the humankind in different fields so uh, the leech trade should no more be illegal and the physiological characteristics of the leech should be used in order to create new research areas of course there are many uh, fields of use of the leech but what about the genetics and molecular genetics in fact these are also potential fields of research and it is standing right before our researchers expecting new researchers well leech is an international organism in all aspects we have to highlight these uh, for example it is collected in turkey it is sold across the world it is collected in russia and it is captured and seized in the canadian customs uh, during illegal transition you see it is an international organism both biologically and in terms of trade let's look at the second objective Professor Salam explained the history of leech collection and leech trade uh, and the rules have already been there. Also, the gynecologist, uh, their colleague from India, highlighted the ancient referrals to the leech uh, applications in uh, the religious texts likewise we heard the azerbaijan uh, case and during the soviet era it reached a certain level in azerbaijan recently in the eu uh, states the leeches collected from the in uh, nature uh, in fact uh, can no more be used in human therapies so from romania spain and uh, other european area we had speakers they uh, underlined the fact that the collection should no more be encouraged in fact there are various reasons uh, related to human, related to oncology, uh, there should be more uh, breeding than collecting. It means that we also attain the second objective in this webinar as well. Thinking about the fundamental issues regarding the leech, I think we can make a list of three one is related to the obtaining of cocoons in fact uh, in one way or other we can obtain sufficient number of uh, juveniles and fries from the cocoons but what about the uh, uh, pollution water pollution and deformation uh, they stand to be important problems and that has been emphasized in the presentations of many speakers regarding breeding an important field of research and investment is related to feeding of the leech their storage and keeping in hygienic conditions and uh, consumer health and security 
So the consumption points, uh, disposition points, shipment are all the important processes to take into consideration. And in this regard, the main sponsor and organizer of this uh, event, uh, uh, you know, FAO, FAO Turkey Office and FAO in general, in fact, can provide technical, economic and financial support to the uh, research is at national and international scale and this can really improve the uh, processes also think about the uh, formal sectors uh, for example we heard the case from iran the university of tehran is uh, breeding in azerbaijan in turkey uh, there is the private sector presence it means that objective number three has been handled as well this is understanding of medicinal leach aquaculture uh, from business point of view. So it means that uh, steps need to be taken in order to make it a commercial sector. Uh, we have covered this topic. Although there are examples from other countries, I can say that Turkey's initiatives and Turkey's experience may be very useful. And the Directed uh, General of uh, Agricultural Research and Policies have its research centers and it is generating information and knowledge. And also universities are committed uh, and uh, they can uh, establish uh, research and implementation and practice centers. That is essential. So It's not enough that everyone just, just fulfills its own role. The universities and institutes should come together, handle the problems jointly. They should have a joint agenda and standard production and breeding uh, protocols should be created. And this is vital for the leech production. Several speakers referred to objective number four, and in this series of webinar, we made many references to sustainable exploitation. Uh, in fact, because of certain adversities, it is necessary to put more emphasis on the, the breeding, but the natural leech populations are still sustainable uh, living resources. We cannot let them aside. And these are aquatic uh, organisms. Uh, they live in the swamps and muddy beds. Uh, so uh, and not only for human medical purposes, but also for many other ecological purposes and ecosystem related purposes, the leeches uh, are there. It is necessary to preserve the leeches for this reason, because they have their contribution to the ecosystem, that their populations have to be preserved, improved, and it should be made sure that uh, they will pass down to the future generations. We, uh, when we look at the Spanish uh, case, uh, I see that they are stuck to the northern uh, Spain, but however, uh, Spain and Turkey are similar in certain uh, fields. So why don't we see the leeches in the southern part of Spain? Probably it's related to severe drought and uh, diminishing uh, wetlands. And because of these factors, the leeches were captured to the northern Spain. And uh, this adversity should not be seen in other countries. 
and the biological diversity and the diversity of species should be identified properly. Uh, you know the practices in the maritime preservation uh, zones. Uh, the, the the leech is also a key organism and it needs protection and maybe uh, some wetlands should be closed blocked and left to its own and hunting should be uh, prohibited uh, so that it uh, will be rehabilitated along the that land uh, will be revitalized. To the east of Romania, the, the new delta, I think, is partially uh, kept as reserve. But the presenter from the Romania gave example mostly from the Carpathians, uh, not from the delta. The FAO can also be a leader in this uh, regard. So at least in every country, the leech reserves and their protection may be the topics of new projects to be developed. Uh, today, some presentations uh, were related to the health aspects of the leech and we heard presentations from the Ministry of Health and also from the Ministry of, uh, sorry, from the University of Yildirim Bayezid. And uh, in those presentations, we saw that uh, traditionally, we have been using the leech for blood sucking uh, purposes. In fact, we traditionally used to call it the blood leech uh, but that's not all. There are some bioactive substances, ingredients in the saliva of the leech and they can be isolated either naturally or by biotechnological methods in the laboratories. Uh, those uh, substances may be uh, produced and for human health and maybe animal health in future that can be a new uh, space. As distinguished speakers said, both legal uh, regulations are needed and also for the private sector, the pharmaceutical sector and cosmetics industry, uh, isolation of the uh, enzymes will be uh, needed, uh, their uh, drying and purification will be needed and maybe all these substances will be used in the pharmaceutical production. That is a new field, an innovative field. I'd like to give some time to the next speakers. In fact, I would like to keep it short from uh, Canada, Ukraine, Ukraine, uh, Ukraine, Romania. We had many uh, guests. Uh, so the phylogenetics, correct identification of the species, intercontinental uh, movements, uh, and many uh, other basic pieces of information were uh, provided. Uh, so Professor Uteski, thank you very much for being with us to provide all this information and also from Azerbaijan, Iran and India. We had dear colleagues joining us to give their presentations and also we had speakers from Turkish universities and the Turkish Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. I would like to thank all the participants and speakers here I conclude my remarks. But once again, I would like to underline the word cooperation. As you can see in Iran, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Romania, leech has presence in those countries. But when you look at its consequences and impacts and implications, it's an international organism and it deserves international interest and uh, awareness. The FAO headquarters and local offices uh, 
can cooperate with the uh, universities and agricultural uh, departments and uh, and in the abolished fields of uh, research uh, in fact uh, FAO uh, campus is about 100 year old infrastructure experience to use it will be an important uh, input thank you i'll not go into any further details i'd like to kindly ask all, uh, every participant to talk about their ideas and opinions. I see that Mr. Haidar Fersoy, representing FAO, would like to take the floor, and I would like to give the floor to him now. Thank you very much, Osman Bey. First, let me make a correction. In fact, I'm not the FAO representative. I am So that, that, uh, the uh, she's an agriculture uh, officer for FAO uh, in the Central Asia uh, uh, region. So that was a very good summary. Thank you very much. As far as I see, you assign an important role to uh, FAO and within the framework of this responsibility, uh, in fact, uh, I'm ready to provide any kind of uh, contribution to pave the way. Uh, there are some physical recommendations, for example, a regional board to be uh, set up. So if uh, FAO can play any role here, we can, we are ready to do it. So in the Central uh, Asia and Caucasia, we have regional uh, Fisheries and Ecoculture uh, Commission, Catfish. So if there is any proposal coming from the members, then we can create a regional group or working group, I guess. And also in that commission, uh, we uh, think about initiating uh, another effort related to genetics. So if there's any proposal coming from the countries, uh, maybe the uh, leech species can be included in that initiative. I think we're coming towards the end of this event in the scope of fish cap project. Uh, in fact, uh, this has been very concrete Uh, cooperation and uh, the fact that we have our share in this important event is pleasing for us. Universities, research institutes and all other stakeholders, we are ready to cooperate with you anytime. And also, uh, it seems that there are many opportunities uh, despite certain problems. I'm also uh, open for any cooperation proposal with other countries. I said before, first of all, we are going to have a publication. It will be an FAO publication down with the university. And uh, so all the, the lecturers, uh, the presenters, your inputs are expected for this publication. I see there is huge interest in this topic. I hope the, there will be various workshops on it. So this has been an online event, a remote event, and you know, uh, uh, it is a chance to have wide participation. So this modality has been uh, very functional. I think it has been running smoothly. So any proposal to come to us uh, will be responded positively by our side to the possible means. I'd like to thank everyone uh, on behalf of my organization for their inputs. Thank you, Mr. Fersoy. Is there any other participant who would like to speak? I see Mr. Mustafa would like to 
speak, but if it is okay with him, I would like to give the floor to first to others, and then I will give him the floor last to give the closing remarks. Professor Naim Sala, I think you would like to speak. Taking into consideration the time limit, can we get your proposals in an itemized way? Yeah, Professor, thank you. Thank you very much. You have, in fact, uh, provided a very good list. Uh, so there's nothing much to say in addition to what you have said. Uh, so uh, as Haidar Bey said, international and uh, national cooperations can be made regarding uh, traditional practices and regarding uh, breeding. Uh, in fact, uh, we can make many contributions with the new species that we discover. International Commission can be created and a scientific committee can be uh, established in the uh, Ministry uh, uh, of Health. So uh, I'd like to thank uh, FAO for the support. I'd like to thank uh, Isparta University of Applied Sciences for the contributions and also I'd like to thank you professors, uh, including Must uh, Mustafa Ceylan for your uh, contribution and also uh, I would like to thank all the participants uh, from around the world. Thank you. So now I would like to yield the floor. To the Applied University of Sparta. Also, our distinguished dean of Erdor Aquaculture Institute, Ms. Ayşegül, we would like to also receive your opinions. And Later on, I think there is another participant who would like to take the floor. So, distinguished uh, president of the university and the dean. If you are not available yet, I am here as Ms. Ayşegül. So, about the seminar, about the suggestions. Can you please tell us a couple of things about your final remarks? Of course, thank you very much. We would like to greet you all with all due respect. So, we have organized this valuable event on medicinal leech. We have participants from eight different countries and we have various expert academics in the field. I would like to thank all the science people who have delivered their presentations. As a Sparta Applied Sciences University, uh, this, uh, web, this webinar was organized and we would like to thank FAO for their support. And we would like to also thank DG of uh, Aquaculture and Fisheries for their support for the organization of the event. For the two days, the presentations were delivered on the medicinal uh, leech use, and it was very useful. I believe the meeting was very fruitful, and I think it created the basis for international cooperation and coordination for the future. Our faculty is always ready to cooperate with you. We are always open for each and every step to be taken for the future. Also, we have Mr. Mustafa Altu Atalay. I would like to thank him. I would like to also thank distinguished Viorel Gutu, sub-regional coordinator for Central Asia and representative in Turkey and FAO. I would like to thank Mr. Haidar, a senior expert. I would like to also thank Mr. Ramazan Çelebi, which is one who is uh, one of our colleagues. I would like to thank you very much for the organization. Also, I would like to thank Mr. Mustafa Ceylan, one of our academics under the university. Your affiliation of the 
webinar results is very important to us. We are always in cooperation. We know that and we believe that such kind of activities are very important to be carried out with my uh, respects. So it has been some time now. I would like to yield the floor to uh, Mr. Mehmet. Please over to you. Thank you very much for yielding the floor to me. I would like to thank a distinguished dean and the uh, president of the university. Uh, I tried to keep my presentation limited in 10 minutes, therefore I forgot to mention your names, but thank you. Mr. Mustafa, we are always in close contact with one another, especially with regards to the preparation of the regulation. We have worked in close cooperation. We have received your support. We are very thankful for that. Also for the revision purposes. Uh, you are supporting us. The support is still ongoing. So we would like to announce here that we have already shared it with public, but there is this revision on the law, on the regulation on traditional and complementary medicinal practices. So they can reach to us uh, about the revisions. There will be a revision process, as I said. It has been a very useful webinar for two days. You may ask why, because I'll be quite honest. This is one of the two sensitive areas for the Ministry of Health. One of them is leech. Why? Because I am the graduate of the um, Department of Medicine. I'm a physical practitioner. I'm a medical doctor in a sense. So I am also a, a member of the um, Union of Turkish Medical Doctors. And they're always trying to hit hard from the uh, perspective of the leech and leech treatment. On one hand, it's making me too sad, but on the other hand, it's making me very happy that the God created such a beautiful creature, such a useful creature, especially in plastic surgery. It has been used for many years for all skin types. They have been using the leech for medicinal purposes already. So we wanted to create a regulation, we wanted to create standards, and this responsibility should be up to the Ministry of Agriculture, because as you know, sometimes they are collecting from the nature or from the whole uh, sellers. And if there are practices, international practices, we wanted to also learn about all these. But sometimes when you talk about leech, people are getting a bit scared. They don't want to get close because it's not that attractive as it looks. And therefore, it was where they were attacking to us all the time. This is an internal issue actually to be discussed. This is an internal topic to be handled. So, Will there be the involvement of the Ministry of Health if there is such a structure? Of course, yeah. So, we are ready to be involved in each and every kind of international work and activity. And with the Ministry of Agriculture, we are also actively working. And as we see today, in the whole world actually, the leech therapy is being implemented. We got to know much more about the practices, especially in Ankara with Yildirim Beyazıt University, with the new leech production facility in Chubuk district. We will have cooperation and collaboration in the future. As I also said in the beginning, World Health Organization uh, has the traditional and complementary medicine desk working on the leech production. And we also mentioned the two names of two valuable universities. And maybe a collaboration center is about to be established. We are planning so. So universities will be there, the Ministry of Health, Trade, Agriculture, they all will be there. And uh, probably World Health Organization will be there. We would like to also see FAO there because the basis for the scientific research is already set up. So as the medicinal department of the uh, Ministry of Health, we are ready for each and every cooperation opportunity for future. It really excited us to discuss all this for two days time. 
also one of my colleagues is following up on the meeting, making notes. So I would like to thank you all once again for the organization, for supporting the organization of such a wonderful webinar. I would like to thank you all distinguished participants. We would like to thank you. Ms. Nuran, I was planning to yield the floor to you, but I have this special request. The participants from other countries, very briefly, maybe, you can tell us about what you thought about this webinar. What are you thinking about the international relations on this regard? And later on, on behalf of the ministry, maybe I can yield the floor to Tagem and maybe you can tell us about your joint work. Thank you very much. Of course, if there is anyone from the international participants who would like to yield the floor, please. From other countries, Iran, Azerbaijan, India. I think one of you would like to take the floor. Over to you, please. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of the webinar. It was well, very structured, very informative. Thank you very much. And we see a lot of possibilities for the collaboration, a lot of area for the mutual cooperation. For example, Turkey is the country with the diverse genetics, uh, lead genetics, the genetic diversity, in, uh, which is huge in Turkey, and it is not uh, well um, started. In this area, we could collaborate and um, conduct further studies both for their breeding and for their protection, because genetic diversity plays a very important role in breeding, in evaluation, and in the following destiny of this species. Uh, in this direction, we would like to conduct common studies with Turkey and with other countries as well, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hussein. Uh, the time is about to be up, so I would like to thank you very much for um, sparing time and participating. And also, hopefully, in the future, we will put uh, more, build more on top of what we have achieved. I would like to thank Deputy Director of TAGEM, Ilhan Aydın. Getam, Mr. Kalaiji, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, participation, Mustafa Ceylan, and also I would like to thank international participants, experts. We have participants from Spain, Iran, India, I cannot remember the names clearly. Uh, Madhu Mamelek, for example, from, from Iran, mentioned wonderful points. Since uh, they had limited time, we couldn't talk about the details. But I would like to thank Nuran, Sebastian. I would like to thank you all. I don't want to count each and every one of you, but we are ready for cooperation and coordination. So hopefully, in the future, with the academics, we will achieve great progress in research studies. We will act together and we will keep these species alive and we will make sure that it will not be endangered. So, Mr. Osman, thank you very much. And I would like to greet you once again. Salute you once again. Hopefully, we will have a better future, a better world where the leech species could survive forever. Thank you, Professor Osman. That has been very effective and fruitful for us. In fact, if you wanted to organize such an event, you know, from public institutions, organizations, breeders, producers, if you wanted to bring together uh, everyone, maybe we wouldn't be that successful. So it has been a huge success. Thank you. So I'd like to thank the university and the UNFAO. Thank you. 
protection of the species is very important for us, all of us. The ministry and the researchers are trying to sustain uh, the species, but I think the biggest role uh, is with the collectors and the breeders. We will always stand by the collectors and the breeders. I would like to say this on behalf of my DG. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, if they continue their operations within the framework of the legislation, uh, then it will be easier for all of us to sustain the species. On behalf of my DG, I would like to say the following. Regarding the medicinal leeches, we will be involved in all national and international cooperations. I would like to thank everyone, uh, Mr. Haidar Bey, Mr. Zafar, Professor Hussein Naim, Mustafa, and in fact, because of time limitation, I cannot name everyone here, but I would like to thank everyone and extend my best regards to each and every one of you. So, now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Mustafa Jaylan to close the session with some short remarks, especially if you have some important comments that you want uh, to go into the FA's report, you can also summarize them now. Thank you. Uh, uh, well, in fact, in the chat box, I see that uh, Professor Masudem Malek would like to take the floor. Uh, maybe we can give her the floor first. Yes. Mrs. Melek um, from Iran. Thank you very much for organizing such a fruitful meeting, and I'm looking forward to more collaborations. Um, I mentioned about National Committee of uh, Medicinal Leach in Iran, which is uh, held in uh, Iran FDA. And I think, uh, as I mentioned before, and I, some of you, um, Dr. Hussein said, we should go uh, for this. And I think the regional committee is very important. National committee for Turkey is important. And I would like to ask you to keep in touch for organizing this um, regional committee, maybe international committee later. And um, I think if we work together, we can overcome all the problems and uh, make the solution. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm delighted for all those uh, lectures you deliver these days. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mustafa Bey herhalde. And Mustafa Ceylan, now we can hear you. Thank you. One deep and relaxed breath on my side. Now, it's finalized. In fact, the process started on the 10th of December with the initiatives of Mr. Haidar Fasoy, and today we have already collected the fruits. And in fact, the interest shown is higher than my expectation. Uh, in fact, if there have been any holes or uh, uh, anything which went wrong during the event, uh, I ask for your tolerance uh, because we already gained much information. And uh, so in the process, there have been many people that I should thank Mr. Haidar Fasoy, Mr. Ramazan Celebi and all colleagues working in the FAO Turkey office, that has been a marvelous teamwork. And at every stage we have been together. Uh, in fact, we exchanged mails at 2 a.m. Uh, in some occasions. So uh, it was also a chance to know better about the FAO team. So it's very promising for future uh, uh, collaboration. And we have the collaboration of uh, Minister of Agriculture. I would like to uh, thank the DG of Fisheries, Agriculture, and Tagen. They contributed a lot. We have all the work together uh, and we will do in future. We have willingness. Uh, we had uh, participants from eight different countries and presentations uh, from those countries. I would like to thank all those participants. and. 
In fact, in the morning we discussed with Haidar, uh, so, and in, as a continuation of this one, maybe we will have an international workshop. In fact, uh, we may have more participants, more participating countries in such a workshop. So in near future, it will be on our agenda. Uh, of course, again, with your valuable support and with the valuable support of FAO, probably very soon we are going to have another successful event. Uh, all these listeners and audience, you have been very patient. Thank you. And the interpreters, they deserve some significant uh, acknowledgement. If so for two days, we have exceeded our time significantly. So we would like to thank them for their efforts. In fact, they asked a question about sharing the uh, video recordings of this event in all three languages we have the recordings of these two days in fact uh, they will be uploaded onto the media and the links will be shared and we already have the email addresses of the participants we can easily get into contact with you a report it will be uh, drawn up and probably it will be published by FAO. I see their willingness. It will be a comprehensive report. And uh, some of you are asking for the presentations, but you know that there is still some data which is not officially published. And um, I have to contact uh, the presenters uh, before I can share the presentations with you. You have been talking about a proposed international committee. Well, in summary, in fact, this seminar has many concrete uh, outputs. First, in Turkey, we should have a leech committee, and then it can be integrated to other countries. So, uh, Mrs. Uh, Malek started this proposal, and other professors joined. That was a good output of the seminar, I guess. Uh, I hope in the near future we're going to take the necessary steps. Uh, if uh, both countries can take necessary steps, we can start the uh, committee and also from the universities, uh, the institutions, we expect the necessary steps to be taken. So with your participation and also with uh, FAO's approval, we can have training projects and research projects. Mm -hmm. I can also see some will about this. Three days ago, uh, our right. medicinal uh, Leach uh, Research Center was uh, established and it will be active, uh, I promise, and we're ready to take a role that is expected from us, of course, again, with your participation and contribution. So uh, our university rector and dean contributed a lot. I'd like to thank the rector and the dean uh, for their inputs. Without their support, that this event uh, would not be so successful. That's all from my side. Uh, shortly, we we'll covered the details, and now it's about action. Uh, so I can see the enthusiasm of the participants. I hope we will uh, get many good results in future. Thank you, thank you, Mustafa Jaydan. So, all the organized institutions and agencies, in particular FIO, thank you. And we wish you a nice, healthy day and would like to see one another again soon. Let's take one picture all together before everyone leaves and we can uh, post it on the web page of our faculty. If everyone can turn on the videos, we can take the picture. Yes, please. Teşekkür ederim hocam. Serkan da almıştır umarım. Thank you. I think Serkan got the pictures. Thank you. Mission accomplished. Hope to see you again. Take care. Thank you. Bakalım.